right now some rain, no lightning and not hearing any thunder either. Right now we do see very limited visibility in Vance, but that's not where most of the rain is right now. Wanted to show you that rain chances will increase to about 70% by 11 a.m. Temperatures stay in the 60s all day long. This is where the rain is right now on our satellite and radar composite. We continue to see a little bit more rain filling into northern Jefferson County, Coleman County to Blunt County as well. We get a little bit better of a view from our WBTM 13 live Doppler radar. This is our three minute advantage. Notice a little bit more of that rainfall in Jefferson County falling on I-22, Dora, and getting closer to Gardendale. So I-65 and Highway 31 as it runs parallel in between Morris and Gardendale. That this morning is not the best road to be on this morning because we have fog in between the rain showers. Visibility in Coleman County, Jefferson and Shelby is limited to about a half a mile. You know, that's that's about 800 yards out ahead of you. Uh, try to pay attention if you're getting out. You know, it's not the end of the world, of course, so you can navigate through some fog, but just you know, keep in mind you got to keep your lights on, not your high beams and you know, all of the uh, basic rules uh, getting behind the wheel. 64 is the current temperature in Tuscaloosa this Sunday morning. We still have some pretty mild weather on tap, but we do start to see temperatures getting colder. There is a massive weather system, an, an Arctic blast that's going to eventually by Tuesday. Notice it's in Canada. All the white shading there, that's indicative of some very cold air. Watch as we head towards the middle of the week. That sharp contrast between that warmer air and that colder air is going to charge us up for some thunderstorms on Wednesday. But some of the coldest air of the season is going to arrive on our doorstep as we head towards Friday. That Arctic blast of sharing an air mass with Canada as we head towards the end of the week and into next weekend. Uh, Thursday morning, that's your coolest morning as you look ahead. The actual winter solstice is in 10 days and looking ahead over the next six to 10 days, we're going to see temperatures below average. So 60s today, rain gear needed in your planner, expecting in your seven day forecast the rain impacts and maybe even some possible flooding on Wednesday. That's going to be where the thunderstorms are. We know it's rainy today, so grab the rain gear and don't closet the coat. We'll need it next weekend freezing, windy, colder, and high.